As Muslims all over the world face Qibla for prayers, so do all schools focus on Qibla schools to emulate beautiful innovations. Our nursery and primary schools enjoy good teaching aid facilities as our team of qualified and committed teachers. Leave no stone unturned, ranging from academics to moral and religious teachings. Qibla High School as well is a place to be with spacious playground, very conducive learning environment, library, ICT and indoor games rooms and not only well stocked but also equipped with state-of-the-art facilities our students perform brilliantly well at all external examinations as well as various core and extracurricular activities Kibla schools comprising of preparatory and high schools is at plot two to five Ibadon Southwest multi-purpose scheme at Leshiloye Ibadon telephone 0805-272-5253 or 0803-313-2027 Kibla schools we set the pace Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala hali wa shiabi wa mantabiyahu bi isan wa da bi dawatihim ila yawmidin ya mabad Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is your program of our program Message from Kibla School This morning we will continue from the topic we started yesterday that is Yesterday, we were able to define what pride was. We said that pride is not what we think, pride is not what we regard as pride in our culture, in our thinking, in our understanding. Because as believers, we have to base all our thinking, we have to base all our understanding we have to base our cultures on the content of the new Korean and the Sunnah of the Prophet And there was one of these we quoted yesterday that goes on Allah Rasulullah we find Ali Kiburu Baturu Rihaki we are going to nurse. Pride is rejection of the truth and looking down on the people. So these two are regarded as pride in Islam. This morning, inshallah ta'ala, we are going to examine the manifestations of pride, that is those actions, those acts, wherein what is regarded as pride are performed. The first one I, I have here is Rodul Haki, that is opposition to the truth as contained in the quoted hadith that wherever and whenever the truth is spoken as good believers we have to accept it we have to accept the truth regardless of the speaker regardless of the status of the person that says it and the second one is that the people that is belittling the people perhaps because of their low status we belittle them that is not good as good believers. The next one we are going to examine this morning is eating with left hand. Eating with left hand. This is another manifestation of pride in Islam. The only person Allah Rasulullah, in his many narrations, has been reported to have said that we have to eat with right hands. As Muslims, whenever we are eating, or drinking, we have to make use of our right hands to eat and drink. Because there's one hadith wherein a man was eating with his left hand in the presence of the Prophet. The Prophet ordered the person, could be a manic, start eating with your right hand. The man was eating with his left hand. The Prophet ordered him to start eating with his right hand. The man responded, 
La astati, I cannot and I will not eat with my right hand. Thereupon, the Prophet said, La astatot, and you will never be able to do so. The scholars of Al Islam said, That statement of the Prophet, La astatot, you will never be able to do so. That is, you never, you never be able to use that right hand you refuse to use when I order you to use. And the Hadith concludes thus Mamana illa the kibo. There is nothing that stops him from using his right hand except arrogance. That is why he said to the prophet, Lastatuat, that is, I cannot use my right hand to eat. The Hadith concluded this way. Mamana illa the kibo. There is nothing that hinders him from making use of his right hand except arrogance. And the abyss ends this way. And thereafter, he is never able to raise that right hand to his mouth again. See, this was put by non Muslim. At least 2021, saw a Muslim. The scholar of Al Islam have said that this man deserved this cause of a prophet because of the fact that. He reject the truth. The person Allah of Sallam can never lie. As Allah has declared that he will never utter a word except what is inspired. All his words are inspirations of Allah. So by the time the word ordered him, that means the order came from above, from Almighty Allah, that he should start eating with right hand, but he refused. He declined to start it with right hand because of the arrogance in him. And forever in his life, he was unable to make use of his right hand again because of the fact that he declined to follow the order given by the Prophet. That is why, in many narrations of the Prophet, the Prophet used to say, Whenever one of you is eating, he should make use of his right hand. Whenever one of you is drinking, he should make use of his right hand. Because it is Shaitan that eats and drinks with his left hand. This hadith was also reported by non Muslim, at least 2020 in Soyu Muslim. That it is Shaitan that used to eat with his, right, with his left hand. That is used to eat is the left hand. So, as Muslims, we have to follow the order of the Prophet. We should not imitate shaitan. It is one of the habits of shaitan to eat with left hand. It is one of the habits of shaitan and his followers to eat with left hands, to drink with left hands. So, as good believers, we have to eat with right hands. Another manifestation of pride is Ali Isibar. Ali Isibar. This concerns men, Muslim men, that is, weary garment that goes below ankle. Ali Isibar. It is part of pride in Islam. Wearing garment that is below the ankle is regarded as part of pride in Islam. In many narrations of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there's one at this year. Reported by Imam Muhammad and Ibn Majah that the Prophet Sallallahu has been speaking at great length. At the end of the day, he said, Wa manjaro izaro hu bataron, la moyanzuri mo wilei. The word said, And whoever trays his lower garment out of vanity, Allah Ta'ala will not look at him with his mercy and of judgment. That is, Islam sees it as part of pride to wear trousers or garments or gown that goes below the ankle for men. In our other narration, the part of Abu he said, the first of all, said, there are three people that Allah Ta'ala will not look at them on the day of judgment. He will not purify them of their sins and will not forgive them of their sins. Abu asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who are those people? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The first one is a man 
who trains down his trousers. The second one is a man who says his goods with false vow. And the third one is a man who boasts of the good he has done to his brother. This Addis was put by Imam Bukhari and Muslim. In this Addis, the first person the prophet mentioned is a man who trades down his trousers. So Islam frowns at man who wears trousers or garments or anything that goes below his ankle. This is to tell our Muslim brothers and sisters at home that wearing trousers that do not go below ankle is not a practice of any Islamic group. It's not a custom or culture of Arabs. It is the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu It is not even a mere Sunnah. It is indeed a composite Sunnah. When we say a composite Sunnah, that a Sunnah which, if it is neglected, will lead the person into hell. Because there is another narration where in the Prophet Sallallahu said in Sahih Bukhari that Ma Asfala the prophet said, whatever goes below the, below the ankles of the trousers of the man will enter fire. So as good Muslims, we have to try as much as possible to emulate the sunnah of the prophet because we are the trousers that goes below the ankle is regarded as part of pride. And Prophet ﷺ has said in the first hadith we quoted that Manjaro fiyabahu kuyala dafala nao The Prophet ﷺ said Whoever trains down his trousers out of arrogance will not enter paradise So may Allah Ta'ala make this presentation better understood than the way it was presented May Allah Ta'ala make us able to practice what is discussed daily. Subhanaka Allah wa bihamdik. Shada la ilaha illa ant. Asala kutubuli. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Talking of schools with clear vision and mission, Kibla schools maintain a comfortable lead. With the variety stuff for all ages, children don't miss home. Our teachers are dedicated, caring, and hardworking, and that's why we stand out among our equals. Kibla schools is situated in a serene environment with well ventilated classrooms, standard laboratory, fully stocked library, and ICT room. School bus are praised to move students to and fro with parts and other facilities are done to develop an all around student. The fear of God is not left behind as we are not only taught the word of God, but also made to practice under the supervision of our well-informed malams. Situated at plot 2 to 5 Ibadan Southwest Local Government Multipurpose Scheme, Alesh Lawyer Ibadan. Telephone 0805 0803-313-2027. يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله